much we are here before you, King of glory. We see you are worthy. You are ever King of glory. You deserve all the glory. Yahweh. GLCC family, wherever you are, allow me to take this opportunity and thank God because of this day and also appreciate God for this opportunity that he has granted upon my life and also the servant of God, our bishop, our father in faith, for giving me this opportunity to share with you in Jesus' name. So you are much welcome, be focused, be alert and the Lord will surely visit you in Jesus' name. So, wherever you are, join with us. Like our page, you can also create a watch party. Watch all through. And I know our God, whom we serve, will visit you mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's celebrate the Lord, please. Let's celebrate the Lord better, better, better. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It is good to thank the Lord always.
The only thing our God cannot do for himself is to thank himself. The way you cannot thank yourself, you cannot lay your hand on your chest and say, I thank myself. It is not applicable. The same case to our maker, our God. He has created us. He has given us a push. He has given us a mouth, a tongue for us to thank him. So it is always a good thing. And it is a commandment from our father to thank him in everything. To thank him always. So I want us to thank the Lord. I want us from the bottom of our heart, be grateful to the Lord and thank him for what he has done. We thank the Lord for what he has done. That's giving is that attitude of appreciating the Lord for what he has done, what he will do and what he shall do. So today I want two viewers and our members, wherever you are, to be full of gratitude. Appreciate the Lord for that very thing that he has done upon your life. So lift your voice and thank the Lord for that thing that he has done upon your life. He has preserved you. The reason that you are not dead is because he has given you power to be alive. So lift your voice and thank the Lord. His grace is sufficient upon your life. I want to see somebody thanking the Lord, magnifying the name of the Lord, exalting the name of the Lord. This church is where it is via the finger of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Psalms 92 verse 1 It is a good thing and a thing To thank the Lord In the mighty name of Jesus Christ So thank the Lord It is a good thing So it is a bad thing If you will not thank the Lord If you will not appreciate the Lord If you will not acknowledge the Lord It is indeed a bad thing Father we say thank you Father we say thank you For every act that you have done upon our life We thank you for every act that you have done in this commission. Thank you because of this very day. Thank you because of the service of today. Thank you for the word of today. Thank you for the servant of God. Thank you, Lord, for what you will do through this service. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for your mighty words. We thank you for your great word. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Reba Boshia Katelaba. Zakato Elabo. Reba Boshia Katelaba. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, Lord. We appreciate you. We exhort you. We monkey for you. In Jesus' name, we have thanked the Lord. And everybody say amen. And because you have done the Lord, your case is settled tonight in Jesus' name. Please open with me in the book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 18. Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 18. The Bible says, For surely there is an end, and thy expectation shall not be cut off. There is an end of every matter. There is an end of everything, but your expectation shall not be cut off. That means whatever you are desiring, whatever you desire, whatever you need shall be answered. It shall come to pass. So I want you to lift your expectation before the Lord and tell the Lord what you need. Tell the Lord to meet all your expectation today, to visit you, to deliver you, to do a new thing upon your life today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ viewers and our members please lift your voice and express your desires before the Lord tell the Lord to meet all your expectations fire our service as you connect with our service today the law will meet your expectation the law will meet your expectation the law will meet your expectation will meet your desires of your heart in the mighty name of Jesus Christ father unto you we lift our expectation we lift our expectation the word of God has said there shall be an end of every matter but the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off Lord meet all our expectation meet all our expectation tonight meet all our expectation tonight answer our prayers tonight answer us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus Christ for your word visit us Lord for your word reveal yourself unto us visit us in a new way visit us in a new way do a new thing upon our lives do a new thing upon our life. Do a new thing upon our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Tell the Lord to do a new thing. Tell the Lord to do a new thing. Upon your life. 
a new miracle, a new miracle upon your life. Do a new thing, Lord. Do a new thing, Lord. Do a new thing, Lord. Deliver your people, Lord. Visit them, Lord. Rewrite their story. Change their story. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. And everybody say, Amen. Bless you, King of Glory. You are faithful, you are wonderful. We exhort you this now. We are here for you, King of Glory. It is because of you. Everything is because of you. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you.
you, Lord, we honor you. We worship you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. Hakuna mungu kama wewe. Nani wa kufana nisho na wewe hakuna. Hakuna. Unafanya mambo habayo. Mwanadamu hawezi kufanya. Unatoa faraja habayo. Mwanadamu hawezi kutoa.
to the Lord and bless his holy name tonight. Magnify the name of Jesus. Is worthy tonight. Is worthy of all the praise. Malaba bushila laba busete libi. Mako sa gaba laba shanda laba. Le bushila laba busete libi. 
Holy Spirit, reveal yourself to us tonight. Reveal yourself to us tonight. Reveal yourself to us tonight. Our desire is to know you. Our desire is to have an encounter with you. Malaba bushila laba busata laba. Thank you, Father. Lift up your voice. Speak to God. Speak to the Lord tonight. Speak to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords tonight. Malaba bushila laba busata laba. Malaba bushila laba busete libi. Miko soga bolo bushite libi. Malaba bushila laba busata laba. Malaba bushila laba businde libi soto lobo shata laba. Makasa gabala bashanda laba. Malaba bushila laba busete libi. Miko soga bolo bushite libi. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Master. Bless him be your name forever. In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed and God's people say, Amen. Wow, well, put your hands together for Jesus. Please, you may be seated. Thank you so much, praise team. Let's appreciate them, please. Welcome to this World Impact Service tonight. We are on the pursuit of this theme of restoration. And I'm trusting God that each one of you encounter restoration in your life in Jesus' mighty name. I want to share with us what I'm calling the ministry of the Holy Spirit. The ministry of the Holy Spirit. I'm going to do my own takatifu in line with the restoration. And I will say, restoration is not possible without the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Restoration, the one we desire. I know each one of you want to see restoration in your life, and in your finances, in your children, in your family, in your career, in your marriage. There is a certain area of your life you want to see God restore. But restoration is not possible without the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is the one in charge of the affairs of heaven here on earth. We can say it's like the chief executive of divine programs here on earth. It's the one in charge of divine programs. And we as brethren, we are running on divine programs. So if we will be running them, is the one, the Holy Ghost is the one in charge of those divine programs. Is the number one helper in our fulfillment of our destiny. If I told you fulfill your destiny, is the one next to you, the one helping you to fulfill that destiny. The one helping you to fulfill this that destiny. Now, the only problem I've seen with the church of Christ in the world, we do not know the Holy Spirit. And number two, we don't know how to relate with him. That's where the major challenge is. We do not know the whole atum jui. Uyurom takatifu. Now, we don't know how to relate with him. Namna yakushirikiana nae has been a challenge. In the major challenge in the church. Yonakuta is the most Mis, misunderstood person of the Trinity is the most misrepresented, misunderstood. Wakati wapendo wanafanya kitu inaenda extreme, zazote watosikia wakisema ni roo mtakatifu wa metuongoza. The Holy Ghost as led us. So is the most misunderstood, the most misinterpreted, and that's why there is great mess in the church of Christ worldwide. Now look at John chapter 16 and verse number 7. And hear what Jesus is saying. John chapter 16, verse number 7. Now listen to these words of our Lord Jesus Christ. He says, verse number 7, if you are there. He says, nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is 
expedient for you that I go away. That word expedient means it's profitable. Jesus is telling the disciples, it will be profitable for you if I go. It will be profitable for you that I go mm -hmm. away. For if I go not away, the comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. For if I go not away, the comforter, that word comforter, the Greek word is parakletos. Parakletos. That word parakletos, if you read from Amplified, it has seven synonyms, seven different names trying to expound the name comforter. If I go not, the comforter, and I want you to listen to those words carefully, the first word is counselor. If I go not, the counselor, the helper, intercessor, and advocate, strengthener, and standby will not come. Now, those words are being used to, to tell us who is this comforter? Who is this comforter to us? Who is this Holy Spirit to us? That word comfort I've said, as God, if you read from Amplified Translation, it has six names. Yes, six names. The first one is counselor. So the Holy Spirit is our counselor. The counselor means is our legal advice. Our legal advisor. Kuna wakati ambao unakuta ni kama unachanganyikiwa ujui utanjibu nini. Kuna njibu ambao ukipeana pengine unaweza njikuta kwa shida. You are in in a fix somewhere. Watu wanakuuliza kitu but ujui utajibu nini. You don't know what to say. But as you are there being not aware, we don't know whether you are confused or you not confused. At that particular time an idea is dropped in your spirit. Now that idea is not you, it's not you. But the spirit of God drops one word in you. That's what we mean is your legal and device. Maybe they wanted to fix you in a way. Like in all of a sudden, unapata just a word. You get a wisdom. When you just speak that word, you silence the enemy forever. Now, that's the work of the Holy Spirit. It's called our legal advice is our counselor, is our legal advisor at such particular time. Is also helper, our helper, our helper. Helper means at the time of need is very there. Psalm 46, verse 1. The Bible says the very present help in the time of need. Someone say, Thank you, Lord. Is also our intercessor, our intercessor, in the sense, in the sense that you don't know. What to pray as you halt? Most of the time, to kenza kuomba, unakuta tu naomba. But mara mingi, atuombi, jinsi, inatupaswa tuombe. Yes, we are praying. But we are not praying as we halt. That is how to pray at every particular time. So the Spirit of God takes over in your life, and it begins to make intercession in you. And not only that, He is able to quicken other people somewhere. Now, when Anza Kukuombea Bila Wee Kujua, whether there are people praying for you. That's, that, that's why he's the one in charge. If you check all this, this work from the word comforter, because that word comforter, ukisoma kizungu, utasema tu ni msaidizi. But you need to get into the Hebrew, into the, into the Greek, to understand how weighty that word is. That word comforter is the one carrying these other names. Counselor. That's legal advisor, helper, intercessor. It's also our undefocate. Someone say undefocate. Now listen to me. Anytime you find yourself in a challenge, as a born again child of God, don't think you are alone. That's why it's very bad to begin to contemplate thoughts of suicide. Once I kufikiria, ni kama ni kopekeango. You are never, never alone. Can I hear your amen? He is in the heat of matter. Together with you. He's not a sympathizer. 
Holy Spirit is not a sympathizer. You see, someone who is a sympathizer, we only tell you, oh, tunajua vile unaisi. We know how you are feeling. Pengini, you have lost a, a lofty one. Now, when I answer kwambia, who we understand. Tunakuelewa vile unaisi. It's only a lie. They are sympathizers. They, they don't know what you are going through. They don't know how close that person was to you. Kwa hivyo, wakikwambia, tunajua how you are feeling is only a lie. Now, the Spirit of God and us in, in the heat of the matter with you. Say with me, he is with me. That's why the Bible calls him, the, the, I mean, a friend who stick it closer than a brother. He stick it closer than a brother. People may never understand you, but he understands you. He will get with you. Hallelujah. Don't be very fast to judge people. Don't be very fast to judge people. You may find yourself, come on, kwa viatu ya uyu mtu. You are very fast to judge. You can't stand. You may not be able to stand. That's why the law will understand. And the Lord will bear long with some people. Praise the name of the Lord. Because he understands. He's with them in the heat of the matter. You see, an antifocate, badala usimame, and if okay to work on the other Indian work, and I'll listen to my swan. Naya and Jib, Kwania Bayako, well, to make it cool, Uta will listen to Swalimoja, and Kinia, when you come and undefocate the other Simama. So when we say the Holy Spirit is our undefocate, he gets into the heat of the matter together with you. Someone say, Thank you, Lord. That's why you need to understand his ministry. I'm just expounding the word comforter here. The word paracletos. You may understand what I'm talking of. He is our strengthener. He gives you strength. He gives you strength. Kuna vitu, ata we mwenyewe unaweza niambia ulipitia. Saa hii ukikumbuka kile kilitokea katika maisha yako, unashanga nguvu litoa wapi. When did you get the strength? You may even find yourself crying now, and you never cried at that particular time. What happened? That time, he gave you strength. He's your strengthener. And finally, he's our standby. Standby is like a generator ambao wakati kumekua na blackout. All of a sudden, everything has gone AY. All, all of a sudden, anakuja and a letter light. That's what you need to understand things. I want you to lift up your, your right hand and say, Holy Spirit, reveal yourself to me. I want to know you. I want to know you. I want to have an experience with you. You are the only one who can reveal yourself better to me. Reveal yourself in Jesus' name. Now, I've said that I want to share on the ministry of the Holy Spirit in relation to restoration. Now, many people have suffered losses in life, a lot of setbacks in life because of lack of knowledge, because of ignorance, failing to know, because of maybe there are some things you don't know, and that's why you have suffered a lot of setbacks, a lot of losses in life. There is a man called Job in the Bible he lost all he had. He had, a, he had a lot of wealth, but he lost it in one day. He lost everything. But there is something he didn't know. In, in Job chapter 3, verse 25, the Bible says, For the thing which I greatly feared is come upon me, and that which I was afraid of is come unto me. The man was a righteous man. The man feared God. The man loved God. But he was in fear. This is not the reference of God. This is not only, only reference to God. He was in fear. Pengini kuna kitu inaweza nitokea. Pengini watoto wangu wanaweza kuwa mekosea mungu. He was in fear. Now fear will open a doorway for the enemy to attack. That's why the Bible says fear not. For Joshua to be used of God, the Lord told him again and again, fear not, be of good courage, be strong. As I was with Moses, so will I be with you. 
he told him again and again, fear not. But here is a righteous man, a man who loved God, but he's walking in fear. That is ignorance. Satan, the enemy of Job, knew that he could not touch Job because there was an edge around Job. There was a fence. There was a protection around Job. Many people are not aware there is a protection. Do you know what Woga uli uli ingia muingi. Kati ya kanisa ya kwamba watu wanaweza pata na corona. A lot of fear ili ingia kwa kanisa. And that's why even you receive me back to church has not been easy. People still fear. People still fear. Now Job was walking in fear though he loved God. And that is where the enemy took advantage. Hapo ndiyo adui, hata kama adui alipewa na fasi na mungu, adui yako pila just anywhere, the enemy looked for lupo. Jia yiko hape. Where can I attack this man from? Where can I attack his family from? So the enemy, hata kama amepata ruusa, he can't just walk anywhere. He has to locate for a lupo. Na wesa pitia wapi to attack this child of God. Where can I, can I pass through? Na wesa pitia wapi to attack so Job was living in fear. And that is the doorway the enemy used to attack. And I said, what I used to fear, what was he fearing? I might lose my wealth. What was he fearing? My children might die one day. And for sure they died. He lost what he was fearing to lose. He was not aware. He was walking in ignorance. There are many people who have suffered because of ignorance. Now, the Holy Spirit is ministry, majorly the ministry of the Holy Spirit is to reveal to us. Say to me, Holy Spirit, reveal to me. Now, from tonight, eh? no, no, I'm not telling you to, to say, but I'm saying, from tonight, I want you to desire to relate with the Holy Spirit as a human being. Don't relate with the Holy Spirit as if he's someone far away, as if it's a thing, realize it's very close to you. I've told you, if you remember the words I've told you, it's your counselor, your lingua advisor, your helper, your intercessor, your advocate is with you at the heat of the matter, is your strengthener, your helper, your standby, realize it's very close to you. I had these words as I was reading the book of Benin, that he said in his book, the Spirit of God is more real to me than my own flesh. Now, when I read those books, I was reading the book, Welcome, Holy Spirit, by Benny Hinn. I just got into prayer, and I said, Holy Spirit, I want to experience you the way I've read from the book of Benny Hinn. And I said, good morning, Holy Spirit. Welcome, Holy Spirit. And immediately I said that the Spirit of God, the environment around me, began to change. It is church. I begin to feel, even if I can't see, there is someone. There is someone. There is someone. He had learned the same from a woman of God called Catherine Kuhlman. He attended the meeting of Catherine Kuhlman, and he had that woman say, do not quench him. He is all I have. He is my friend. He's close to me than anybody else. He heard the words of Catherine Kuhlman. So when he heard those words, he went in the evening and he knelt by his bed and he said, Holy Spirit, if you are real, the way I heard Cousin Kuhlman say, reveal yourself to me. So me, Holy Spirit is a person. Now I want you to go and try the way I tried and be sensitive and you will begin to experience a change. A change. Remember what I've said is the chief executive of divine affairs, divine programs, here or not, is the one in charge. Not Jesus, not God the Father. This is the dispensation of the Holy Spirit. And if at all you experience things different in your life, you need to know him. Can I hear your amen? Are we together? So is a covenant illuminator of the things of God. Now look at John 14, please. John 14. John 14. 
what I'm teaching you, I wanted to go and try it, experience it. He desires our fellowship, but we have ignored him. Look at John 14. Verse 16. And I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter. That word another is alos, paracletos. Alos paracletos, another comforter, that he may abide with you forever. That he may abide with you, how many times? All times, forever, forever. Even the spirit of truth, and the that word truth. You remember the Bible says, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall do what? Shall set you free, shall make you free. You shall know the truth, and the truth. So he is called the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive. You see, the world can receive Jesus, but the world cannot receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the gift of the Father to the church. But Jesus is the gift of the Father to the world. He says, even the spirit of the truth, whom the world cannot receive, because he seared him not, neither nor with him, but you know him, for he dwelleth with you, and he shall be in you. And I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. He, he's talking of if Jesus will reside in you, he, he, he will reside in you, he will reside in you through the Holy Spirit. And the Spirit of God is called the Spirit of the truth. He's out to reveal truth, to reveal secrets, to reveal the mysteries. Look at verse 26 of the same chapter. Verse 26. So we have seen him called the Spirit of the truth. Verse 26, but the comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. Say with me, Holy Spirit, teach me all things. And bring all things to your remembrance. He shall bring all things to your remembrance. Whatsoever I have said unto you. It's called the Spirit of truth. He's able to teach you. Is able to bring all things to your remembrance. The reason why we are not experiencing his ministry in our lives is because we have not known him and we have not given him time to reveal. We have not given him time to expose. He's able to reveal to you deep things. Can I hear you? Amen. You will not find yourself in some scenario, if you give him the, the, the space, he will speak to you. He will reveal to you. He will, he will guide you. You, you. you see chapter 16, chapter 16, and look at verse number 12. Verse number 12. I have yet many things to say unto you, but you cannot bear them now. Obey it. When he, the spirit of truth, again it's called the spirit of truth, is calm. He will guide you. Tell me, Holy Spirit, guide me. <coughs> Excuse me. He will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear. That means he shall be listening to hear what the Father asks for you. And he shall speak it, he shall reveal it, he shall guide you. He shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, he shall, shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. He will show you. He will show you things to come. He will guide you. He will teach you. He is called the spirit of truth. He shall put in remembrance. So if you want to see the ministry of the Holy Spirit in your life as a legal advisor, as a counselor, I mean, as an intercessor, as your helper, as your advocate, as your strength and as your standby, you need to give him space. Allow him to minister to you. Now, you can't do it except by faith. Someone say, by faith. One more time. Now, right now, ukianza kusikiza kile unaisi sahi ni baridi, mana baridi iko. But let me tell you the truth. The Spirit of God is where you are. You must take by faith. Take it by by faith. And when you go to sleep, for example, tonight, speak to him. Tell him, I know you are here. Holy Spirit, I know you are here. 
there is this matter. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to go about it. Speak to me. Now, at that particular time, he will begin to minister to you. Having okay, you have given him the, the, the attention. You want, to speak to, you, you, you want him to speak to you. He will begin to minister to you. Now, most of the time in Gawa, I may not be able to go to that. The way he speaks to us, you may feel it's as if it's a thought. It will drop just an idea in your, in, your, in your spirit. When that is dropped in your spirit, your spirit will bring it to your mind. Remember, you are a spirit who has a soul and lives where? In the body. Say with me, I am a spirit who has a soul and lives in the body. So when we talk of your soul, your soul is made up of your emotions, your intellect, which is your mind, and your will. You have the, this, the will that makes decision. There is the mind, and there is emotions. Now, the Holy Spirit ministers to your spirit. Then your spirit relays the information to your mind. So that, that, that's how mo most of the times it speaks. We talk of the, the inner witness. It's as if something is being witnessed, it's being impressed in your spirit, in your mind. That's most of the ways he speaks to us. Like in his Moses, Moses, remove your shoe, for the ground is holy. No, he will not speak that way. Majorly, he speaks through the inner witness, the inner witness, or the inner voice. When you talk of the inner voice, it's your conscience. Ile ka sauti ka huko ndani. Unasikia ka sauti ka nakuja ka nakwambia eh, wake up to pray. Omba. Omba. Wewe kwa sababu saa hiyo unasikia mwili umechoka unasema jameni unanjinoosha. Kana kuja tena omba unanjinoosha. Hey, unasema acha niendelee kidogo. Now at that particular time hiyo ka sauti unasikia kama withdraw, kana potea. It's so gentle. The spirit of God is very gentle. He does not force his way in you is very gentle. Now, ukiwa autaki vile na kuelekeza, that voice withdraws. Then, unapo kutana na changamoto, unakumbuka na hii kitu kweli, rowa mungu alikuwa na nefunulia ni yombe. I felt there was something. I felt, I felt. You are, you, that's how people say, I felt, I was feeling something. Now, if you obeyed that voice, you could be talking different. Someone say, Holy Spirit, reveal yourself to me. I want to know you. I want to know you. You are the only person who can reveal himself better to me. Who can explain himself to me. Amen. I don't know, I'm using the, the right word. Ukita kunijua, usiulise watu. Kuja kwangu. Amen. Now, scripture and you begin to pray. Holy Spirit, I want to know you. Now, look at First Corinthians chapter two. Look at First Corinthians chapter two, please. First Corinthians chapter two, verse eleven. Look at this. First Corinthians chapter two. Verse 11, all the way to 13. The Bible says, For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him? Even so, the things of God knoweth no man, but the spirit of God. Now, we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of God that we might know the things that are really given to us of God. You need to note that statement that there are things God has given us freely. Kuna vitu mungu ametokirimia bure, free of charge. But you cannot know them except by His Spirit. You cannot know them. Look at verse 13. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teached, but which the Holy Ghost teached, Co-bearing spiritual things with the spiritual. So you need the spirit of God to reveal to you. 
And he knows your level. Listen to me. If, for example, I know French, and my child doesn't know French, do I need to speak to my child with, the, I mean in French? class one. Bonjour, bonjour. I, I can't do that. Now, why would God speak to you in a language you cannot understand? He will not. God will speak to you majorly in the language you can understand. Someone say, thank you, Lord. That's why you need to release yourself to him and know by faith he's around you. He's not only around you, he's also in you. And is willing to communicate to you the things that are freely given to you. Kuna kuna makonda chemunga nataka kufunulie. How to go about? There are business ideas. God want to speak to you. Mana nizako. Maybe kuna area umependesa mungu. Na ataki kubariki watu wengine na 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 idea yako. He want to bring it to you. So he will speak to you. In a manner, you are the only one who can understand. So if you are not attentive or you are ignorant, you will be losing things without knowing. That's why you need to be alert. Mana kuna restoration. Mungu anata kuleta katika maisha yako. There are restoration. God wants to bring your light, your way. He wants to speak to you personally, specific, because you are the one supposed to get that blessing. But if you are not sensitive, if you are not alert, you may not get that restoration. Someone say, Lord, help me. Reveal yourself to me. I want to know you. I want to understand. Look at Evasion chapter 1, verse 17. Evasion chapter 1 and verse 17. Evasion 1, 17. The Bible says that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Hear that? He may give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation. He is able to reveal. Deuteronomy 29, 29, the Bible says the, the, the hidden things belong to God, but the revealed things belong to us and our children. Now, until something is revealed to you, it's not yours. Kama mungu anataka kubariki na business idea. Na hiyo business idea, ainja funuliwa kwa ako. Si yako, saa hiyo. Ni ya mungu, badu ni ya mungu. But the moment that idea has been revealed to you, inakuwa yako sasa. Na inaweza kubariki watoto wako, because it has been revealed to you. So, the spirit of God, we can say, is the anifoda of the mysteries of the kingdom of God. One time, in Acts chapter 8, Philip was caught up by the Holy Ghost, and he found a man called Ethiopian eunuch, and the spirit of God told him, join the man in the chariot. And when he joined him in the chariot, he found him reading the book of Isaiah chapter 53. And the man was reading and reading and reading in the book of Acts. And Philip asked him, Understand that thou what thou readest. And the man said, How can I understand? Except someone reveals. That person you need is the Holy Ghost who can reveal to you. And this man, Philip, began to teach him, to teach him, to teach him. And the man, scales came out of his eyes. The man understood the scripture. And he asked Philip, Why can't you baptize me that I've understood? So, number one ministry. Of the Spirit of God, if I tell you benefit from Him, is here to reveal to us, to unfold, to make things known to you. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Now, since we are not sensitive, the way the demonic world is sensitive, some many, many years ago, Many years ago, I was ministering in another ministry. Na mshirika moja wetu akaniambia kuja ukaombe relative wangu. Sasa ingine wa shirika wanaingiza wachungaji kwa vitu. Si kujua kumbe huyu anasema relative wake ni mganga wa kienyeji. So mimi huyu nimetoka nimeenda. Nilipofika kwa ule mganga 
Si kujua kama ni mganga. Imagine yeye mganga ashaniona. Anasema <laughs> nilionyeshwa vijana wawili mnakuja. Na mimi si kuonyeshwa. Na yeye ashaonyeshwa habari yangu na kuja. Nakuta watu wamekaa wanangojea daktari kumbe huo usiku alifahamiwa na mapepo sijui alikosana nini na mapepo yake ikamweka maji kwa masikio aliniambia aliweka maji kwa masikio akaamka ski lakini katika hiyo hali akaoneshwa vijana wawili wakija kumuombea now i was among the many leader na rafiki yangu mmoja mganga ameoneshwa tunakuja na sisi hatunja oneshwa habari yake hata sijui kama naenda kwa mganga so baada ya kumuombea ndio ananiambia e, kuja ubariki kazi yangu sasa alipofungua nyumba <laughs> ndio nilijua i was face to face with a witch doctor mali kuta vibuyu imejaa kwa nyumba <laughs> nikamwambia la ina hii atubariki tunaharibu praise the lord imagine <laughs> the person is on the demonic war is aware i am coming and i'm not i'm not even aware ni naenda mission in Uganda may the lord give you understanding i want you to be sensitive to be alert that even you don't just wake up in the morning and you rush for things no 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 kwa kazi tu unaambia mungu nifunulie you are a revealer of the secrets of men show me reveal to me i want to i don't want to live as if I am in, 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 somewhere in a prison. Reveal and four things to me. And he will begin to show you one by one. Someone say, thank you, Lord. Number two thing, he empowers us. Someone say, power. He gives you power. Yes, I know revelation is, is a dimension of power. But now I'm talking of the power itself. He gives you power. Look at the way he empowered Jesus in Acts 10, verse 38. Acts 10, 38. It's a common scripture. Acts 10, verse 38. The Bible says, Our God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with the power. Who went about doing good and healing all those who are oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. He was anointed with the Holy Ghost and power. The Holy Ghost ministered power to him because God the Father knew the devil was on mission. God the Father knew the devil was at work. Therefore, he gave him power that he may deliver them that were oppressed of the enemy. Acts 1 8, you shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you, and you shall be my witness. The word witness there means to stand on behalf. You cannot stand on behalf of Jesus except you have the power, you have the ability. I remember the man, a bishop in the Hosa, many years ago in his town, Benin City, a witch that was supposed to have a meeting, Yawachawi, and they were to meet in his city and the witch went on her and he spoke of how the meeting will be powerful. And news went all over. Mtu wa mungu wakajiuliza, how can the meeting ya wachawi iendele ni kiwa hapa? And I'm a witness. He also went on her. Na akasema akuta kuona mkutano wa wachawi in my nation, in my, in my city, Beni city. Na unajua watu wa media, when they saw Beni uh, in the house akiongea, wakaenda kwa katafuta ule mchawi wakamwambia wewe ulisikia vile indaosa alisema akuta kuwa na mkutano wa wachawi huyo mtu akasema not even god can stop this meeting lazima iendelee so wale watu wakarudi kwa kwa indaosa wakamwambia wewe ulisikia mchawi alisema not even god can stop him indaosa akasema yes aliogea ukweli we don't need god here now mimi nikiwa I'm here as a witness. I'm standing on behalf of God. Mungu wakae mbinguni, mi itakuwa hapa in charge. There will be no meeting. Hmm. Awatu wakawachochea, wakawaleta pamoja. On, on live, on, on the, the, the live telecast, wakambia mchawi. We want to give you 30 minutes to tell us vile utakuwa na mkutani. 
Wakambia in the house. Now it's not compare. That means to tuambia vile mkutano aita kuwa. And the thing was life. Imagine ikiwa life. Uambia watu vile huu mchawi atafanya mkutano. Mchawi ya kawangea, kawangea anka 30 minutes. In the house akawambia na minataka nioge sasa. Two minutes to, to time. Niambie ni ndiyo ni uliza huu mchawi swali moja. So mch- in the house, akaeleza, akaeleza, akaeleza. After, I can be, oh, you're about to finish. Your time is about to be over. I can say, man, I can you listen to oh, one question. Answer me yes or no. And after that, I will know whether I will kill you or not. Tell me, are you a witch? Muchawi, I can I am not a witch. And the meeting was stopped. Praise the name of the Lord. That night, the witch came to the man of God. That was the end of the meeting. Praise the name of the Lord. Say with me, I am a witness. He said, and you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And you shall be what? My witnesses. Beginning Jerusalem. In your home. Begin there. That's your Jerusalem. In where? Judea. Samaria and the uttermost part of the world. So you begin there as a witness. A witness is not the one we are talking of in, in, a, in, in a court of law. We are talking of a witness, according to the translation here, is someone who stands on behalf of another. You stand on behalf of Jesus and say like, a, like in Dahosa, this meeting will continue as long as I'm here. Someone say thank you, Lord. This word is too wicked. The holy language the enemy will understand is power. In the book of in the book of Psalm 66, first number three. Look at Psalm 66 and first number three. Psalm 66. First number three. Say unto God. How terrible art thou in thy works. Through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemies submit themselves unto thee. Through the greatness of thy power. Until they see power, the enemy cannot submit. Until the enemy sees power, he will not submit. That's why Moses was told by God in Exodus 3, verse 19. I know Pharaoh will not let you go except by what? Mighty power. I will stretch my hand and I will smite Egypt with wonders. I will smite it. Then Pharaoh will let you go. He will not let you go except by mighty power. Mighty power. Now, don't see Pharaoh. People, when, when we talk of Pharaoh, people are seeing the physical Pharaoh behind the Pharaoh. Behind the Pharaoh, there was a spirit. A spirit called Pharaoh. Have you ever known that? Have you ever known there was a spirit behind Pharaoh? By the way you are talking. Now, <laughs> hey, check Ezekiel 29. Look at Ezekiel 29. Let me show you. Ezekiel 29. You see, you see some people just rise against you for no reason. And you, don't, you think it's the person. No, 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 not at all. There is a spirit Behind that resistance. Look at Ezekiel 29. Are you there? Are you there, Ezekiel 29? Shout hallelujah. Okay, thank you. Look at verse number 2. Ezekiel 29, verse number 2. Son of man, set thy face against Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Now, if, if you, talk, you read that way, you will think it's a human being. But there is something behind. And he prophesy against him and against all Egypt. Speak and say, Thus said the Lord God, Beyond, I am against thee, Pharaoh, king of Egypt, the great dragon that lieth in the midst of his rivers, which had said, My river is mine own, and I have made it for myself. Now, he's not talking of the physical Pharaoh. Can you see that? So the hardness in Pharaoh is not just Pharaoh. There is a spirit. And 
Ezekiel Spirit, speak to it. Set your face very hard against Pharaoh and tell Pharaoh, unakuta unaenda kwa mtu ambaye amekuwa anakupea contract. All of a sudden amebadilika na uelewi ni nini? Someone say power. Demonstrate power. Go into your chamber. Speak against the Pharaoh behind the human Pharaoh. There is a spirit called Pharaoh behind the human Pharaoh. Address it. Speak to it. When you speak to it, the physical Pharaoh will say yes. That's why you need power. The Bible says, How great, how terrible art thou in thy works. Through the greatness of thy power shall thine enemy submit. So reader will submit. That's why you need the power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the... Spend time in prayer, child of God. And tell the Spirit, Oh Lord, I, I, I'm tired of living a shameful life. If you are this powerful God, empower me. I want to walk in the reality of power. I want to walk in the reality of power. I want to walk in the reality of power. Empower me. Anoint me. Empower me. Ah, and when you are empowered... Anything trying to resist you. Don't confront the people physically. Undress the force behind. Undress the pharaoh behind. And the human pharaoh will say yes. Am I communicating? Are we together? You're blessed. Jesus is Lord. But number three, the spirit of God sheds God's love in our hearts. The Holy Spirit sheds God's love in our hearts. Now, let me say this. The way we are supposed to love God is not possible naturally. It's not. Now, look at the way we are here. Very cold. Mm -hmm. My brother, very cold. I can see the way you are holding yourself. Very cold. Now, naturally, you would have gone to a tomb. No one be a mukawako new again, Jiko. Neota motama new a key, chai kawa, nende le kunya imbaridi yondoke. But you chose to come in the coldness of this, and you are here seated. That is great love. Someone saying great love. Now, if you will go beyond this level of love, it's not possible except you are helped by God. Now look at Matthew 22, the way the scripture tells us to love God. Matthew 22, Matthew 22, and look at verse 37. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy strength, with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. mind. This is the first and great commandment and the second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. All these two commandments, and the other law, and the prophet. Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, with all thy mind. Imagine, with the whole your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, with all your strength, with the whole, with the all, everything to love God. If you are able, if you have to love God this way, it's not possible except by the Spirit of God. Except by the Spirit of God. It says in Matthew 6, 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. For you to be able to place God number one, God to be number one, leave alone, he what when I say, I love God. They, they don't love God. It's only something in their mouth. I love God so much. It's a lie. I was sharing with a brother, and he told me, man of God, I, I love to tithe. <laughs> but how, when I find myself in fix, I, I, I find the spirit is willing, but the body is too weak. That was what he was saying. The spirit is willing. It's willing. <laughs> but the body is weak. It's not possible to do this except by the, love of, by the help of the spirit. Look at Romans 5. Verse 5. Mm -hmm. Romans 5. Verse number 5. 
Romans 5, 5, the Bible says, And the up, make it not ashamed, because the love of God. Someone say, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost. Hear that? And the up, make it not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. You find you, 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 you want to fast. You want to fast. Like all of us, we want to fast. We want Your whole body is going for the food. Your whole body is pushing you to go for the food. We want to fast. But somehow, you have been weakened. You have been weakened. You have been weakened. Let's go for this. I remember I was training some other guys in my home to do ministry. And we would go and do some soul winning and we, we, we pray. And I remember one, one, one day we went home and we found my wife. I was like, I'm going to go to the house. I was like, I'm going to go to the house. I was like, I'm going to go Hey. Wacheni ni teremuke. <laughs> Uteremuke kutaka wapi kwa. <laughs> tabadali, tabadali, acheni teremuke. And, and he came down on the mountain. Because of a chicken, agakula. Now, if you have to love God beyond, child of God, I want to pray Holy Spirit to help you to love him. The Spirit of God sheds God's love. In our hearts. Kuna dimension uwezi kapenda mungu. Usipo saidiwa na rom takatifu. Now I want to finish by saying. If you have to encounter the spirit of God. In this dimension. Number one. You need to dust it for him. Do what? Dust it for him. Have that strong desire. Desire to know him. Dust it to know him. God does not reveal himself to everybody. He reveals himself only to those who desire to know him. No, but if you can go an extra mile and tell the Lord, I want to know you, reveal yourself to me, he will, he will, he will. Look at, at John chapter 7. Look at John chapter 7 and verse number 37. The Bible says, in that last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried saying, if any man dust, that means you must have that strong desire that crave to know him. Let him come unto me and they drink. And he that believed on me, as the scripture had said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Now, it's really in two points there. Number one is your dust. You are crave to know him. And number two, you are stopped of faith. He that believed. Now, as you are asking God to reveal to you, you must believe that he's going to reveal to you. Sometimes, yes, we are dusting for God, but we don't have that faith, that belief. Nanjua mungu wakoapa. I know God is here. God is here. God is here. Go and listen to me. God is here. I know he will. So you must have that crave, that desire, that dust. He says in, in Isaiah 55, look at Isaiah 55 and verse 1. Isaiah 55 was verse 1 and 2. He says, oh, everyone that dusted, come ye to the waters. And he that had no money, come ye buy and eat. Ye come buy wine and milk without money and without price. Wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which satisfied not? I can diligent unto me, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness. In other words, dust for God. Crave for God. Don't be condemned in the level you are in. The level you are in is too shallow. It's too shallow. There is more of God you don't know. I tell you the truth. I've been crying to God to have more of him and the more he reveals to him, to me, he reveals himself to me, the more I realize I don't know him. Amen. The more he reveals himself to me, the more I realize is, ah, there is more of God I don't know. Lord, please, more. And my prayer has been, more of you, God.
I want to more, do no more of you. My soul that tell for thee, that's what David says, Psalm 42, verse 1. As the deer panted after water brooks, so my soul panted after thee. Psalm 63, verse 1 and 2. My soul that tell for thee, my flesh longing for thee, my spirit seeked for thee. Dusty for God. Dusty for God. This will drive you to pray for hours. Amen. Okay, when I kill, it's a kuskuma. Okay, to me, about 30 minutes. Oh, me, about one hour. When I talk about one hour, you begin to pray two hours. On a kuta munda, on a ongezeka. Just in the presence of God. And you are spending time with God. Wow. Okay, when I kuta, because I have a way when I talk on a news. When I talk on a movie, Mali, Uli, Ajia, Sijui, Kama, Iko, Iyo, Kipendi. It's going to be bold and beautiful. Una taka kurudi. Una oba oba. Una angalia sa. Iko two minutes to begin. Una anza kuzamaraisi prayer. Una kibia. So you, you find your crave for the movie is too high than to see God. That's why God is not revealing himself to the people in the church. You want una. Hey, your news is in the Peter Germany. <laughs> Asande bwana unaanza kuomba macho ikiwa wasi asande Yesu naangalia saa 1 minute tu unateremka unaona news mm, Mungu atusaidie Number 2 is a wider you need to give yourself to know him now this one I, I, I'm not able to to talk of it more because of time you need to understand the spirit of God is God he is God he is God when uh, when uh, Anania Alikuwa na ndaganya mbele ya Peter. Aliulizo na Peter one question. Why has Satan ended you to lie against God? It is not me you have lied against, but the Holy Spirit. Peter and I revealed the Holy Spirit as God. He is God. He is the eternal spirit. The omnipotent, omnipresent, omniscient God. Allow me to pause there. Please, let's be on our feet. In Jesus' mighty name. Let's be on our feet. But... By the grace of God, I will talk more this month. And you will find you are not born again to struggle. You are not born again to suffer again. You are born again to reign again. Say with me, I am born again to reign again. I'm not born again to suffer again. So the Spirit of God will begin to reveal to you mysteries. It will begin to reveal to you things you don't know. You, you are struggling. Which way? Which way? And all of a sudden, and I release just one idea. And you find yourself, you are flying in life. Lift up your hands and tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your word tonight. Thank you for all you are speaking to me. Thank you for your word, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your word to me. Thank you for the mysteries. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for ministering to me. Thank you for speaking to me. Thank you, Lord. I surrender to you. I surrender to you. Somebody pray, Holy Spirit, reveal yourself to me. I want to know you. I want to have fellowship with you. I want to have an experience with you. Somebody pray, Holy Spirit, reveal yourself to me. I want to have fellowship. I want to fellowship with you. I want to have an experience with you. I want to know you. I want to experience the resurrection power. Holy Spirit, you are the one who raised Jesus from the grave. I want to experience the resurrection power. I want to experience the resurrection power. The resurrection power. I want to experience the resurrection power. The resurrection power. I want to experience the resurrection power. Holy Spirit, have your way in my life. Have your way, have your way, strengthen me, empower me. Lord, anoint me with the power. Somebody pray, the Lord to anoint you with the power. The Lord to anoint you with the power. The Lord to anoint you with the power. Mara babushila la babusatalaba. Mara babushila la babusetelebi. Makasa gabala bashala la babusatalaba. Mara babushila la babusetelebi. Mara babushila la babusetelebi. Thank you, Father. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' precious name, we are prayed, and God's people say, Amen. One more prayer I want you to pray for yourself tonight. I want you to allow the Spirit of God to shed His love in you. Now, if you shed His love in you, you need to forgive. 
ikaingia kitu kama tayari hiyo moyo imejaa i know there are people who have hurt you people who have betrayed you people you trusted with your heart with your secrets now maybe they betrayed you watu ambao ulidhani kwani watu wa karibu watu wa kusimama na wewe lakini watu uliposikia kile walikunenea ulishangaa awezi njaza upendo wake ndani yako when you are carrying that bitterness you need to release it let your heart be empty alafu mwambie fill me with your love fill me with the grace fill me with your love with your love ninjaza na upendo wako fill me with that love holy spirit lift up your voice in jesus name one minute please in the mighty name of jesus forgive those people who have hurt you forgive these people who have betrayed you forgive those people who have wounded you somebody pray forgive please forgive please forgive and allow the spirit of god to fill you love to fill you with this love the love of god to be shed in your heart the love of god to be shed in your heart malababu shila lababu satalaba malababu shila lababu setelebi sotalaba miko saga balaba shandalaba malababu shila lababu setelebi maka saga balaba shatalaba malababu shila lababu satalaba malababu shila lababu setelebi sotalaba ask the lord to fill you with love with love the love of god the love for his kingdom the love for fellow mankind the love for fellow mankind to love god malababu shila lababu satalaba malababu shila lababu setelebi i give you my heart i give you my soul i give you my everything my desire is to know you reveal yourself to me holy spirit i want to know you I want to know you reveal yourself to me malababu shila lababu satalaba allow him to heal you now allow him to comfort you allow the spirit of god to touch you allow him to touch your heart allow him to heal you allow him to comfort you allow the spirit of god to comfort you allow him to touch your life allow the spirit of god to touch your life welcome him in your affairs in your business in your business in your family in your career tell him to take over somebody pray holy spirit take over in my work take over in my family take over in my business take over in my in my career take over holy spirit take over mala babu shila la babu satalaba somebody pray somebody pray tonight somebody pray tonight pray 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 the more holy spirit touch my life Holy Spirit touch my business touch my career take over Lord I surrender all to you I surrender all to you I know by your help I am rising again you are my intercessor you are my counselor Holy Spirit you are my helper my intercessor you are my standby Holy Spirit Holy Spirit malababu shila lababu satalaba yes in the name of Jesus I re- rebuke every power of darkness i rebuke every power of the enemy i rebuke every kind of an attack from your life i rebuke the spirit of the enemy i rebuke the spirit of the wicked by the holy ghost i rebuke the spirit of the enemy i rebuke that infirmity i rebuke that failure i rebuke that oppression i rebuke the spirit of death i rebuke that oppression Maka sagaba la bashata la ba mika sagaba la bashala la baba mala babu shila la babu sata la ba all the spirit of your way all the spirit let there be restoration let there be blessing let there be healing let there be blessing let there be blessing let there be victory let there be breakthrough 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 let there be victory let there be blessing mala babu shila la babu satalaba mala babu shila la babu setelebi maka saga bala bashatalaba lift up your voice and begin to thank god for what is doing in your life nataka utambue you pamoja nawe tambua roho mtakatifu kwa pamoja nawe it's not far away it's with you begin to acknowledge him begin to thank him begin to glorify the lord mala babu shila la babu satalaba 
Father, we thank you. We bless your glorious name. Thank you for great restoration that has taken place in our lives. Thank you, sweet spirit of the living God. Thank you because of your help. Thank you, spirit of the living God. We thank you and we bless your glorious name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped and the people of God say, Amen. Put your hands together better. Please appreciate the Lord, the King of Kings. And then you can be seated in the presence of God in Jesus' mighty name. This time, we want to worship the Lord, the Almighty God, the King of Kings, with our offerings, with our tithes, with our thanksgiving offerings. And we are encouraging us, most of the times, to be using the MPS till number, which is 586916. You go to Lipana Mpesa, buy goods and services, and then you put the Mpesa till number 586916. In case you have packing that offering in that envelope, just indicate the kind of offering that we are here to worship the Lord, the King of Kings with. I want to read up first in the book of Hebrews, chapter number 7. The Bible says, Hebrews 7, I read verse 7 and 8. And without all contradiction, the less is blessed of the better. So even tonight as we are packaging that offering, we need to do it with this understanding that we can never bless God. We can never make, give anything to God to make him more richer than he is because he is our dependable solution. We depend on him for everything. And verse 8, And here men that die receive tithes, but there he received them, of whom it is witnessed, that he liveth. So even as you pack in that offering, as you stand on your feet to worship the almighty God, just understand that it is him that is who is supposed to receive our offerings. And except he receives your offering, you can never get the benefit of, of serving the Lord with your substances. So even tonight as you just be lifting that offering before the Lord, you shall be telling the Lord, Father, receive my tithe tonight. Receive my free will offering. Receive my sacrifice. Receive my uh, first fruit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please with that understanding, I request that you stand on your feet tonight. Just own that offering the right hand. Even if you have just used that phone, just you can hand on your phone and just lift it before the Lord and tell the Lord, Father, I am here to worship you with this tithe. Daddy, receive it tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive my tithe. Receive my free will offering. Receive my project offering. Receive even my first fruit everlasting, Father. I bless you and I glorify your holy name. I am here to acknowledge you, the one who has given me the power to acquire wealth. I am here, Father, to declare that without you I can do nothing. Father, I glorify your holy name. I praise your holy name. I worship you everlasting, Father. Be thou exalted. Be thou magnified. Thank you, mighty God. Father, accept my offering tonight. I praise you. I glorify your holy name. Thank you precious father. As a mere daddy to obey your one to Lord. Even to honor you daddy with my substance as king of all glory. I pray and I decree and declare in the name of this my father Lord that my storehouses shall be filled with plenty. As a mere to pay my tithe king of all glory. May you repute and devour on my behalf and cause me to walk under open heaven. I praise you. I glorify you. I magnify your holy name. Thank you mighty God for such an opportunity. The Lord you have given unto me to be able to give back unto you whatever belongs unto you. I praise you. I glorify you. I honor your mighty name. Thank you, Lord, for receiving my offering tonight. Bless and be your name forever. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped the Lord and the people of God say Amen. Please, you can just give that offering with joy and gladness. If you are put in an envelope, we have some baskets in front here. Just much for one. Just drop it in one of the baskets and the Lord greatly bless you as we welcome the servant of God, our Father in faith, to listen to our night of blessing. And God bless you. You are blessed. Amen. You are favored. Amen. It is well with your life. Amen. The Lord increase you more and more. Amen. I decree and declare grace upon your life. Amen. This grace will preserve you. Amen. This grace will bring the desired restoration in your life. I decree and declare grace upon your life, upon the work of your hands, upon your family. You are preserved. You are protected. You are blessed. You are favored. In Jesus' precious name. Together in fellowship, surely, goodness and mercy, signs, wonders and miracles shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall enter in the presence of God forever and ever. Amen. Please remember our Thursday prayers, we shall have Thursday prayers from 7.30 to 
to 8.30 on online. Itakuwa online, 7.30 to 8.30 on our page. Bishop Peter Luaya, GLCC. So welcome and God bless you. Shalom. Asante.